I'm so glad I took the bells off this thing because they would have driven me up the wall. Hello, everyone. Tis December, which means it's time for a bunch of Christmas crap. Yes, I'm a little bit of a Grinch when it comes to Christmas, but I am surrounded by people who absolutely love it. So I tend to make a lot of Christmas things for them. Here's the thing. Last year, Christmas 2022, I had grand plans to do a whole Christmas themed advent crochet challenge project. But because of a whole bunch of stuff that was going on, I just did not have the time to do that. So I thought, it's all right, stick a pin in it. We'll do that in 2023. 2023 rolls around. Still got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Luckily, some of that has resolved, but unfortunately not quite in time to get this huge Christmas project off the ground. So we're going to stick a second pin in that and hopefully we'll get around to doing that in 2024. But because I want to do something for 2023, we are instead going to play Christmas Crochet Bingo or Crochet Christmas Bingo. Which one sounds better? Christmas Crochet Bingo. I'll do. Christmas Crochet Bingo. This will be a little bit different from my previous bingo games because I'm going to be doing one square per day leading up to Christmas until we get bingo. The bingo card that I'm using is going to be of a slightly smaller size than my regular bingo, which is five by five. Here I'm going to be using a four by four just because I plan for these projects to be a little bit bigger than regular bingo. And if I have a five by five with bigger projects, that's going to take so much longer. If you guys don't know how crochet bingo works, I'll put a couple of links down in the description so you can check those out. But for those of you already in the know, we're just going to dive straight in to our first spin. The first square of Christmas crochet bingo 2023 will be... Reindeer. Okay. Not bad. Now the rules that I've set specifically for Christmas crochet bingo is I'm not limiting myself to just amigurumi. I can make anything I want, use any hook size, the yarn weight. I don't have to design the pattern myself. If there's something I think I can find a really cute pattern for that already exists out there in the world, I can crochet myself that. But I'm thinking... For my reindeer square, I might make myself some more ridiculous headwear because clearly I don't have enough. I do have some headbands lying around in the bathroom that I just don't use, neither does my sister. So I could turn those into some reindeer antlers. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I've grabbed out some of the supplies I'll need for this project. I've grabbed out an old headband. I've got some red yarn and I've got a bunch of brown yarn I can use for the antlers. I bought this for a project a couple of years ago, but it turned out to be one of those ones. Have you ever bought yarn off the internet and when it arrives, the color you receive is absolutely nothing like the picture? I'm not talking like a slight difference. I'm talking a huge difference. Well, well, that happened with this brown and I've just had it sitting around doing absolutely nothing besides collecting dust for the last two years because I'm going to be honest with you, it's not a very nice brown colour. But today it finally gets a chance to shine because it's going to be used to create antlers. But before I create antlers, I want to crochet around this headband and I'm going to use up my red yarn to do that. Uh, grab my four millimetre hook. Um, I was thinking about writing the pattern down for this, but probably probably not really worth it. I don't think there's such a thing as a standard size headband. So even if I did write it down, it probably wouldn't be that much use to you guys because you may have different size headbands than I'm using. All right, let's try. We'll start off with a chain. That looks really dark to me. The, the weather here today is extremely overcast and my little, my little craft room here 
gets very poor light anyway. So I've got literally every light in my house on me at the moment. Uh, hopefully that's not too bad. I can always fix it in post too. But it just, it looks darker than normal on the screen. So I hope you guys can see okay. This bit's probably going to be a little bit boring because I'm just going to keep keep crocheting in around using single crochet until I have enough that will go around the entire headband. There's the headband all taken care of. I think to speed up this process a little bit, I will hop over to Pinterest and just see what there is available in terms of reindeer antler patterns because it will be a little bit easier if I can just follow a pattern rather than having to make my own. So let's head on, head on over to Pinterest. Yeah, all the... All the patterns I've looked at so far, they seem really, really basic, really straightforward. So it's probably easy enough just to make my own. Uh, trying to cut corners doesn't work. But that's what I'm going to do next. I'm assuming I'm going to have enough brown yarn because, look, I've got all this. And I don't plan to make these antlers huge. What's that called? Like an eight-point buck or something? I say that like I don't know anything about deer. I will do the antlers first and then I want to have some yarn left over for the ears. I do want to add some like decorative flair to this as well, perhaps holly leaves, but I will look through our Christmas decoration box and I'll see what I can find in there. If I can't find anything suitable, I'll just crochet a few additional little pieces, but they don't strictly count for the bingo square. I just need to get the reindeer antlers done really There we go, one antler all finished. Mm, maybe that way. What do we reckon? I think, <laughs> will that look any good? <laughs> well, I'm going to make myself a second second one. And then I'm probably, I'm probably going to add some small ears. And as I said before, I'll leave the, the bulk of the decoration till later once I get to rummage through the Christmas box. But as for the crochet pieces, I think that's all I'm going to make, the antlers and the ears. are all sewn together at this point. I just want to add some ears and then I think I can call it finished. Christmas crochet bingo square number one is officially complete. Hang on. <laughs> what do we think? Does it look better than the Christmas tree? I mean, it doesn't have bells on it. That's a, that's a significant improvement right off the bat. <laughs> I might have to crochet the ears to the antlers, though. I think they're going to be flopping forward a lot. Square number one is done. I'm going to check that off my bingo card. 
As I've already mentioned a couple of times, I might add a little bit more detail to this headband, including, I don't know, some holly, maybe a bit of tinsel. Who knows? I'll see what I can find in the Christmas box. That is going to be all for this video. Please join me again tomorrow where we're going to crochet square number two, whatever that happens to be. For the rest of the bingo cards, I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see all the categories. For some of them, I do have a general idea of what I would like to crochet if the wheel happens to land on them, but there's some that I really have no idea what I'll do because I don't want to do the same projects over and over again, so I don't want to be crocheting all amigurumi or all headbands. I want to be able to make different projects. So we are done for today. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it if you think it's worth sharing. If you like any of the patterns that appear during Christmas crochet bingo, they will be made available over on my Patreon. Clarification, the ones I create, if I use somebody else's pattern, they will be linked down in the description. I will see you all tomorrow with Christmas crochet bingo video number two. Bye. And I'd just like to say a final thank you to all of my patrons for your amazing support.